The current population of a small town is 5,500. It is believed that the town's population is tripling every 10 years. Rasta used the secant line to approximate the population of the town three years from now. If needed, round to the nearest person or whole number. In this problem, we're using a secant line to approximate a population because we don't have the population function. The idea is that a secant line can be used to estimate function values as long as we're near the two points on the function and the secant line or in between those two points. Looking at the graph on the right, we have a function f of x graphed in black and we have a red secant line that intersects the function in two points, this point and this point. Notice as long as we're between the two points on the secant line and on the function or near those two points, the secant line approximations are good approximations for the true function values. So going back to our problem, because the initial population is 5,500, let's say p of zero equals 5,500, which corresponds to the point zero comma 5,500, which again is on the population function, as well as the secant line. And because the population triples every 10 years, we know p of 10 is equal to three times 5,500, which would correspond to the point 10 comma, three times 5,500 is 16,500. And now we need to find the slope passing through these two points. We normally refer to the slope m as the change of y divided by the change of x. In this case though, we have the change in the population, p, divided by the change in time in years. The change in the population is 16,500 minus 5,500, and the change in time is 10 minus zero. Simplifying, we have the slope m is equal to 11,000 divided by 10, which is 1,100. Now that we have a slope, we can select one of the two points and use point-slope form of a line to determine the equation of the secant line, which we'll then use to make an approximation for the population three years from now. Let's go ahead and use this first point, zero comma 5,500, and we'll use point slope form of a line, where in our case, y1 is 5,500, x1 is zero, and m is 1,100. Instead of x though, we'll use the variable t for time. We have y minus 5,500 equals the slope m of 1,100 times t minus zero. Let's go ahead and solve for y by adding 5,500 to both sides. That gives us y equals 5,500 plus 1,100t. And now we can approximate the population in three years by determining y of three. y of three is equal to 5,500 plus 1,100 times three, which is equal to 8,800 people. I hope you found this helpful.